Hey, bud, welcome to Maine. Good to welcome. see you. Thank Good to be hey, here, buddy. Your off so people know who you are. Yes, My name is Spencer Sam Oh, there he is. And I'm a professional snowmobile driver. <laughs> So guys, we are back up in Maine, as you may be able to tell, good morning, and hope you're having a great day. Texas was fun, I was there for a few days, but I just had to get back up north. I missed it so much, and here we are. It's a beautiful day, first day here, and it's snowing. It's, it's like 30 degrees, it's the best winter weather you could ask for, and we've got Spencer joining us up here for a week of fishing, chilling, and just hanging out in the great northeastern woods. I freaking love it up here. I never thought I would enjoy winter this much, but since I've gotten the camp, it's just been so much fun to come up here, do some exploring, and uh, just check out a place in the United States that I've never really visited before, and I've never really been to before, which is, again, so crazy because I've bought a cabin up here. But in today's video, we're gonna do some exploring on the land. That's a video I have not filmed yet, something I actually haven't done, period. I have not gone back in my acreage, in those woods, and just seeing what's kind of back there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some tools, maybe a chainsaw, maybe a machete, because it is super dense. We're gonna clear some trails. We're going to investigate to see what is back there. Also gonna take, obviously, the sleds on a little mission as well, but I uh, hope you guys stick with it and enjoy. Spencer, what's going on? Breakfast is ready. Breakfast is ready. Okay, Spencer says breakfast ready, so we're gonna crunch, munch, and then we'll meet you guys out there. Enjoy. Oh, also, I don't know if you, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I've officially introduced Lucky to the cabin. I don't know where she's at right now. Lucky, <whistles> Noodle, hey Noodle, how you doing? What's happening, Noodle? <laughs> how you liking Maine? Are you enjoying Maine? Are you enjoying Maine? Do you dance? Do you want to dance? As you can see, Lucky is also <laughs> loving Maine. She's just vibing up here. She is a Texas dog at heart, but she also loves the. Uh, the winter weather. She was actually born in Missouri, so she uh, she knows winters for sure. Get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, so she's gonna be hanging with us this week. Um, Spence, what are you doing for the next few days? We got, we got a little quest here. We got a quest to catch. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, we're trying to film a video here. She's like, yeah, whatever. A little busy, Lucky. Get it. Anyways, uh, we're trying to catch a big brook trout, right. meaning like. Realistically, five would be ridiculous, five pounds. And did you know that they were even up here prior to? Not really until you had yeah. introduced me to it, obviously. Right. Um, but the whole thing about this game is just having the chance of catching a seven pound brook trout. The chance is unreal. Be unreal. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right. May not happen. I don't want to say probably won't happen, but a seven pound brook trout swim where we're fishing, and that's all I need to know. Yep. And the cool thing is, is we are here at prime time for big brook trout. As you guys saw in one of my previous videos, we did catch a pretty good one with Ryan and his brother Devin, but uh, we're after one that's literally twice the size. Wow, that's the longest intro I think I've ever filmed. Anyway, <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Stick with us, stay tuned, and enjoy. Alrighty. We're on a mission. I think my tires might be low. Wanna check them? Nope, don't care, let's go. We have a list, ladies and gentlemen, a list of things we need. I feel like every time I come to this cabin, I just add more stuff to it. it. It is not fully complete yet, obviously. I've only purchased the place like a month ago, probably less than a month ago now I'm thinking about it. So we've got a list of stuff we need. One of which is a chainsaw. We need, we need to get some more fun fun stuff. We need the chainsaw so we can clear the trails out behind my cabin because right now they're not too navigable. So we've got the goods. I thought about filming the whole errand session, but I was like, that's like boring. Like no one wants to see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on the sleds. I'm gonna bring a machete, an ax, and then Spence is probably gonna run the uh, brand new chainsaw that we just bought. And we're gonna clear some of the trails back there because right now you can kind of ride there, but it's kind of gnarly. Like I messed my face up. I don't know if you can see. Well, check this out first and foremost. Yep, went for a nice rip last night and a branch hit me as I was going like 15, 20 down the, down the whatever. So yeah, we gotta clear some stuff out. Got some oil for the suds. We're dialed, we're hashtag dialed. I think it works. One down, many more to go.
So the thing is, is like, no one's really been back here and maintained this land for, I don't know, I guess since I bought it. So we're just trying to clear it up. We've ripped these trails before, but it's a little bit nicer to have them cleared up. I mean, like that back there could hit you in the face and I've got hit in the face before by that thing. But yeah, we're just gonna explore the land, see what's back here. It's so weird in the winter time. Everything is just like quiet and dull. But um, yeah, it gets really thick down there. We'll definitely yeah. need that. Sure. Definitely need the chainsaw. <laughs> This thing's nice. Use one of these in the uh, in the Amazon, but now we're using it uh, in kind of a different scenario. This is one of the more backwoods trails that leads to I think like a I don't know a river or something like that. Barely been back here before, so there's gonna be a ton of overgrowth. Like look at this, dude. This this would this would hurt so bad ripping on the sled. Getting her done. <laughs> You do? Back here. Back there I do as well. I got a truck in there and then there. Do you have SD cards in them right now? Yeah, that's weird. I would not have gone back there. Those are not, those. Yeah, those are human. Just found some human tracks. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure they're not mine. And the last time we were here, Dyson didn't even, even really go back to this area. So I don't know, either I, I went back here, I forgot, or someone's tramp, tramping around. It's really like matted and melted. So it's tough to say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like those this are... is a human track right here, but it's like when they're melted, it's hard to see. True. That's I weird. I don't are. think it's anything, but that is strange. It's a good thing about the snow is you can tell what's been back in the on your property. There's actually a spot down the way that I want to uh, set some feet out. So once we get down there, chop our way through the path, should should have a pretty decent shot at maybe bringing some deer in. I got a trail cam back there too that we need to check. He's getting after. Look at him. <laughs> Check this out. Show this one right here. Yeah, right there. That's nuts, dude. That's huge. Yeah, that's crazy. They that's, must be like... Dude, I've seen them. So when I closed on the property, I came back here. It was like my only time that I'd come back here and I saw a spruce grouse and I also saw a humongous snowshoe hare. If you guys have never seen them, look them up. They're, they're like literally, the, I think some of the biggest yeah. like rabbits in, in the world or something like that. They're huge. Don't quote me on that. I might get audited on that, uh, that, quick, that quick fact, but they're, they're crazy and they're back here. And they're huge, they're freaking big, and they've got giant paw prints. That's why I call them snowshoe hares. They're really easy to spot like, put off. Put your hand next to that, like. I know. I got a pretty big mitt, and that's like, I mean, that's they're so good size for they're, they're like, like they're not spooky at all no. either. Like you can walk right up on them, or at yeah. least I did that one day. Okay, cool. Well, we're almost there. Yeah, will this do? That'll will this work? work? Okay, cool. Yeah, Just check. Try to get this perfect, you know? Dude, deer like corn. One time I put corn out. Yeah. And the deer ate it, yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's really cool. Have you ever tried this stuff? It hurts pretty good. No, I never have, John. No. What do you think? A little, bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. One for the road. Is there a specific uh, formation that you like to put your corn in? Can you tell that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now? That ought to do it. That's enough corn. We should take the SD card out. Dice and I put this cam here a week ago, so I'd imagine we caught some, some stuff on camera. Is it even? It might be froze, buddy. Nope. <laughs> Still got battery. Holy shit, 684 clips. See what's on there? Let's take it back. Look at look no, at no, no, no. I want to. I want to. I want to make really? this a moment. I'll come back here at night and I'll put on a new freshies. I, I had on video and photo, so it takes a photo and video. These trail cams are also not that crazy good. Guys, drop a comment. What what trail cams do you use? Which ones would you suggest? These are Cam Parks. They got actually pretty decent reviews on Amazon. They're so cheap, and I got like six of them. I don't think they're definitely yet. We'll see. We'll have to see. There could be some it's like Sasquatch on here. What if we got Sasquatch, boys? 
one little safety tip for you guys on chainsaws. I'm not Paul Bunyan or his son or anything like that, but safety's key. If this blade touches you while that saw is moving, not gonna be good. Treat this as a weapon, as a tool. Evil Dead, it's a weapon. You ever see that movie? Very, very, very violent. He puts, he it. takes, his arm is off and then he puts a chainsaw on his arm. Yeah, John, I don't watch those, but. Pretty legendary. You should check oh, it out. Dead. Evil Dead. One more real super important thing about. about chainsaws. Oh, right. is, Sorry, we're doing safety is first. Is this guard. Make sure this guard's on. Guard's back, blade can spin. Right. Guard locked, blade can't spin. Is there an, is, where's the attachment for if you do lose your arm and you want to attach it to you? Does, it come, uh, does a Husqvarna have that? It's called that? 911. Oh, okay. Call them. Trail cam number two. We only put up two trail cams. This is kind of weak sauce, honestly. We, I've got more. I just needed batteries for them and SD cards. But this is the one that I was really optimistic about because it's right by a water source. As you guys know, I got a pond on the property, which, by the way, still needs fish. <laughs> We're working on that. But there is a creek that runs here, and it stays pretty much open, to my knowledge, year-round. It hasn't. It's gotten cold here, and it hasn't frozen over yet. What was that? Is that my dog? No, no, no. It was not like a, like a squeal, like a. It was not like a dog. That's weird. Creepy. A lot of creepy today. Found footprints that I don't think were mine and then heard something in the woods. Anyway, is this one still on? This one, I think, had a low battery. Dude, these things are pretty dynamite. No. It says it's it's got 9,999 clips, which means it's it's maxed out. Mm. A 32 card, there's no way. Only one thing left to do, and that is to take this back of the crib and see uh, what we caught on the trail cams. This is pretty exciting, I've never done this before. Sasquatch, maybe? I hope so. This is super serious. Checking the trail cams for the first, actually this is the second time I checked them. We let them sit for a literal day. We literally just saw like the ass of three does. It was hilarious, you should have been there. This is way back in the property SD card. This one had 694 clips. Oh my gosh, she's scooting her butt. Why do you scoot your butt, huh? This crazy wiener, I'll tell you what. Right, let's see what we got here. Hi. There's gonna be a lot of garbage on here too, which sucks, but. Holy shit. Oh nice, deer. Dude, oh, check out that, cool. that's a big buck. That's a good, uh... Quality? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. not bad. They're not as bad. Cam Park, I think that's what they're called. Okay, so we got, looks to be a doe. He's eating the watermelon, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a pretty good camera. I was talking that's about this really earlier. good. Yeah. I'm impressed. A little fawn. Look, they're eating the watermelon. <laughs> Dude, oh, they, the flat, they flat out ate the watermelon. They that's ate it all. Dyson, I had no idea if, if deer were going to eat watermelon. Confirmed. Deer. Oh. <laughs> What's he doing? He loves watermelon. There's a lot of activity back here. I had no idea we were gonna capture this much on the trail cam. This is... They literally sat there all night. Yeah, and just ate the watermelon. Dude, they <laughs> love watermelon. Why do we even get corn? We should just put more watermelon out. There wasn't that much. Didn't get any like, anything crazy out of the ordinary, but there is obviously a ton of deer back there. Okay, cool, so that's SD card number one. Wait, you weren't all what? the way through it, were you? Yeah, I was. Oh. That's a good shot of the dice, isn't that? Yeah, I, I told you we're gonna have some Bigfoots on here, I told you. <laughs> there it is, okay. Trail cam number one, pretty successful. Nothing huge or crazy. It's deer, I mean, that's a good sign, okay. This one is weird because it says there's 9,000 clips on here. I don't believe that. Hopefully nothing went wrong. The camera was frozen, but I mean, we'll see. There's Dice and I, there's me, there's me. <laughs> there's Ty, look at this one. <laughs> oh, I love Dice. Uh, okay, so there's that, there's that. There's a bunch of just on here, because that's, Oh, the, that's why, dude. Yeah, we're... They pick up your whole ice fishing day. Ugh. Okay, so this one didn't really get much. Trail cam number one was definitely the, the better. One deer. Yeah, one deer. But I think I feel like that's not... There's no way. For a whole week, one deer to come on the property, and there's all that sign, all that track out there. We definitely have a better shot now with all the feed that we have. Um, I'm going to reset, probably tonight, all those trail cams up with, with new SD cards, and I'm gonna put a few more out. I've got here, I'll show you. Got uh, a few more of these guys. Again, not totally sold on them, but we'll get them rigged and ready to go for tonight, and then I'll leave them here for probably like two weeks. I'm not gonna be back up here in a, for a while after this trip. Okay, what do you think, it's lobster time? Yeah. We bought a lobster. The tradition here at the cabin, which by the way, we still need a name for, so if you guys have any suggestions for the name of this camp, this cabin, let us know. But the tradition that I'm establishing up here is that every time we come up here for a big sun, before we go fishing, we have to have a lobster dinner because we're in Maine. And you and he has had never had true Maine lobster. Never in my life. Wish him, wish him. Are you shy? You want to eat in front of the people? I've never met a dog that doesn't enjoy food that much. She just doesn't care. Here we go. And now she's going to check it out. She's going to look at me. She's going to come back. I grew up around dogs that would literally bite your hand off if you had a chicken wing between your fingers. But this one right here, she's just not a chow hound. There she goes. 
Lobster. You like lobster, Spence? We got two lobsters and some scallops. Dude, that's a feast. It's actually pretty inexpensive, though. How about that? You just grabbed. Just number two. <laughs> you literally just grabbed out of my. Number two for uh, high five. <laughs> uh, we need to stop doing that. Easy, dude. It's not gonna hurt you. Wow, that's insane. Dude, they're nuts, man. They're the, some of the Wicked. craziest. Like, if you really think about it, dude, lobsters are mental. Like, they're the craziest looking things on earth. Right, let's get this thing boiling. That's we should so probably cool. have boiled the water before we got the lobster out. What does it smell like? I was seeing like if they smell like salt. If you Texas rig these, they're super good smallmouth bait. You should look into that. They literally are a craw on steroids, aren't they? Okay, so head first, and then it's supposed to make a squeaking noise? Is that what it is? He didn't make a noise, but I did put him head first. Is that on fire? Oh yeah, something is on fire. Oh, That's not good. How'd that get under there? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How'd that get under there? <laughs> <laughs> what the f was that all about? Oh, it smells like burning rubber now. Don't breathe that in. I was like, why is it? Why is there something smoking? Don't worry, crisis averted. Come on, get in there, lobster. He didn't make the squeaky noise, I don't understand. Is it only with special lobsters? Do main lobsters not make the squeaky noise? Our lobster is done. Hopefully, I think it is. Does it look done to you? It's pretty red. That looks pretty damn good. Eat like kings tonight, boys. That's unbeatable. That's truly unbeatable. Okay, cool. Oh, buddy. What do you think? Game? Game? That's hey, good. We did it. That's a damn good looking meal, I'll tell you what. Curious to see what you think. When was the last time you had lobster? It's been a second, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I explained this to you guys, but like, this is probably my second time up in the cabin, the new camp. I didn't plan on coming up here too much in the winter time, but the ice fishing up here is really good, and weather in Texas has been kooky. So I told Spence I was in the process of purchasing this cabin, and we planned a brook trout trip right now, which is going down. So this is our day to get adjusted, eat some lobster, kind of kick it. And then for the next few videos, the next few days, we are going absolutely ape on these brookies. We're gonna fish for probably three or four days and just try to catch a mega brookie because there's some big ones in Maine and we're looking for uh, some megalodons. What do you think? <laughs> That's good. Is it? Yeah. That's it's fresh. Once, once you get over the fact that it's a literal bug. Yeah. Trainer to become a hunting dog. It's a slow process, but we're getting there. Speaking of slow processes, welcome to the rigging part of today's video. Look at all of this gear. This is like just an eighth of what we're probably gonna bring tomorrow. We've got fish finders, we've got rods, rod cases, fluorocarbon, fish traps. Like, it is hectic. It is ridiculous as to how much you need for ice fishing. Honestly, I would go as far to say that you would need more for ice fishing than like open water fishing. That's just my opinion, just because it's so technical. But anyway, yeah, so let me give you guys a breakdown as to what we're gonna probably be using. So this right here is what I'm going to be throwing tomorrow. Uh, my first ever brook trout through the ice was on a rattle bait, believe it or not, little tiny trout will cream a big whipless crankbait. So I'm gonna jig with this. And while Spencer and I are jigging, you know, big rattle baits and spoons and plastics and stuff like that, we are also going to be setting out these auto rods, which act kind of like a fish trap or act like uh, a tip up if you guys know what that is. We're just gonna let them stand still. We're gonna put some bait on there, probably like some smelt or something like that, possibly the night crawlers, and just let them sit in the area and wait for a trout to come through. So there's two different types of fishing. You've got the stationary type, which includes these rods, and then you've got the uh, the constant moving presentation where we can run and gun, we can go to a point, fish the point, fish for five minutes. If it's no good, then we'll go to the next spot. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. We've got probably about a three hour drive to get to the spot, but you know, we're gonna, we're looking forward to this. So I just kinda wanna set the scene for you guys, explain to you why Spencer's here. Um, it's because we're after that monstrous, and I mean monstrous brook trout, talking about a fish that's over five pounds. We're set, buddy. Let's go. That might have been the first high five we landed all the, like, this entire video. Number Nailed two, it. Number, number three, three, number four. So what time are we waking up tomorrow? Three? Four a.m. Two a.m. Two a.m. First light. What no, I'm just what kidding. We're, we're gonna probably get up at four. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here, link to the camera. I gotta say goodbye to the people. Well guys, this is where we're gonna peace out. I gotta get some sleep, I gotta get some rest. As you can see, we still have a little bit of rigging left to do. Again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys wanna see as film while we're up here in Maine. It's been fun so far, it's only day one. We've got a serious trip ahead of us, but I hope you guys are stoked and excited. Anyway, I'm Peace Not Signing Out, thanks for the video, and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. Okay.